Welcome to task number one of Crawley College's Parallel Line Pattern Development Program. For this task we are going to draw one pattern that will make both parts of this elbow. On an A4 piece of paper, start by drawing one horizontal line 40mm up from the base of the page. On the left hand side of the page we need to mark a centre point and a point 25mm either side of it to give us a spacing of 50mm. This 50mm spacing is representative of the diameter of the tube we will be making. On the left hand side measure up 50mm and draw a small marking, then measure up 25mm on the right hand side and again make a small marking. Place your ruler at the marking where you've marked the left hand side and draw a vertical line up to the top 50mm marking and then repeat on the right hand side. Using a ruler join up your markings to complete one half of the elbow. Before moving on check all your dimensions to the drawing shown. Set your compass to 25mm, place the point of the compass at the centre of your elbow and draw a small arch at the bottom. Using your ruler, mark a vertical line straight up through the centre to the top of the elbow. Now using the same 25mm compass setting, place the point of your compass at the bottom right hand side of the elbow and mark a small arch on your radius and repeat this on the left hand side. Then place your compass point where the centre line intersects with the radius and mark a small marking on either side. This will have divided the radius into six equal parts. Using a ruler, draw vertical lines from each of your division points to the top of the elbow. Number each of your division points 1 through 7. To the right hand side of your elbow draw one vertical line down the page and label it number one. Set your compass to the distance between any two of the division points on your radius. Place the point of the compass at line number one on your horizontal line and mark a small marking. Then place the compass point at the marking you have just created and mark another mark and continue this until you have 13 markings. Once you have your 13 markings number them one through seven and then seven back down to one. Using a ruler, draw vertical lines from each of these markings to the top of the page. To map out the pattern, there are a couple of ways we can do this. Firstly, if you're using a drawing board, you can line your ruler up to the number one point and use that to mark the number one lines on your pattern. Or alternatively, you can use a compass to set the distance between the bottom of the elbow and your intersect point and then draw these on the corresponding lines. Once you have completed these markings, you will have one half of the completed elbow. To complete the pattern so that you have both halves, use the same setting that you used to mark point 7. Place your compass point at the marking on line number 1 at each end and put a small mark. You can then use a ruler and a pencil to draw a straight line between these two markings to complete the second part of your pattern. To divide the two parts, use a pencil to join up the markings trying to follow the natural curve. The two parts of your pattern are now complete, ready to be cut out and assembled. Before cutting your piece out, please take a photograph of your work. Once you have cut out both parts of your pattern as shown, roll up each side and stick the ends together with a piece of sticky tape. Once these are fully formed, they should be the same as each other, only with the joins on opposite sides. When joining the two pieces together, try and line up the division lines with each other so that it is assembled correctly. Once your two pieces are joined together, you have completed this task. You now have three independent tasks to complete, working from the drawing shown here. You will need to photograph each of your patterns fully formed with your name and task number clearly shown on them and send the photographs of these completed tasks to your assessor.